you need to make these three email automations for your company. So today's video, I'm gonna go over how you can make these three very important email automations for your business, your small business, your new startup, whatever you're getting into. These are some of the things that you need to focus on. With these automation, there's a lot less work to do and a lot more retention for your customers and for people coming to your website. So let's dive into it. These are the three email automations that you need to build. First, we're going to start with the welcome series. This is really important. When somebody comes to your website, you're gonna have different offers, you're gonna have people that are entering your email address. So you want people, when they sign up, if they get that offer, if they come to the website and sign up for your newsletter, you need the welcome series. In this, I think it's really important to focus on educating them on your brand, who the brand is, what you sell, and why they should buy from you. This can be a few emails, three to four emails over the course of the week, educating them on what to do with Hey, what does this product do? Why should you buy this product from us? Why should you come back and buy something from us? Because they might just come from a blog or something like that. So I like to set up the welcome automation emails. I like to even segment these out sometimes into different categories of welcome series. So you can get into a lot of like specific detail on these emails. So the first one is the offer pop-up. So you want a special welcome series for that. If you come to a blog that's pretty popular on your website, you might want a different special offer for that one too, where it's a welcome series, but also, hey, we noticed you're reading about this. This is why our product could help you. So I would look into those and I'm showing you here, these, these are some of the best ways to retain some of the customers and get them to come back and buy. Number two is the abandoned cart slash browse abandonment. I was gonna put this in kind of its own category, abandoned cart browse abandonment, but they're basically th the same thing. So when you go in there, there's a lot of options. I personally use Klaviyo, as you can see here. Inside Klaviyo, they have two options. So browse abandon, if you don't know what that is, I'm on the website. I'm looking at a product. Sometimes you can collect emails without even having them enter their email which is great and you can trigger a flow based off that and then it can send them to say, hey, come back, check out this product. Same thing goes with the abandoned cart email. With the abandoned cart email, that's when they enter their email. On the, the, on the abandoned cart email, it's when they ask. On the abandoned cart email is actually when they put in their email, obviously checking out on your website and they did not go through with it. You wanna trigger this email pretty quickly after they do this. Personally, I like to send out one a few minutes after they abandon, maybe 30 minutes after they abandon, and then again, re-upping it, maybe three to four hours later, and then you want to do another one 24 hours later after that to get them back in that similar shopping period, because if they were shopping at one o'clock in the afternoon, you could say maybe that's their lunch break, maybe they'll come back and uh, shop again if they get that email around the same time. So abandoned cart, browse abandonment, super, super important. I would say number one, even more important than the welcome series. Build out your browse abandonment first and abandoned cart first, because these are really gonna help you get a lot more people to come back and purchase your product. The third one, this is more of a fun one, but I would say it's a re-engagement email slash anniversary birthday, because sometimes you want people to come back. So there's different ways to engage your past uh, people that have been to your website or have purchased from you. So I like to mix it in with the, the birthday, the anniversary saying, hey, it's your birthday, we'll give you a little discount, come back and shop with us. Or you could do the same thing with the re-engagement email where I have qualifications and segments where it could be, hey, I normally see people purchasing on kind of a rhythm, right? So if you notice on your website, I sell dog products. On our website, we notice, hey, people roughly purchase about every 45 days. So I know if you lapse over 45 days, I'm going to send you another email around day 46 and re-engage you and say, hey, this is what's been going on with our website. Maybe offer them a slight discount to come back and purchase. And the same thing goes with the anniversary and the birthday emails, like your first purchase anniversary, come back, this will be great. And I think those are the kind of the things that you wanna re-engage them with. Great emails, you set it, you forget it, and you're done. Now, this is just touching the surface of automation on emails and segmentation. So there's a lot more videos that I'm gonna be making about diving into the detail of why and how you segment each different uh, client and people that are coming to your website. So stay tuned for that. Check out more, click subscribe, tell your friends, and hopefully you're making money with your email.